Good morning and happy holidays for those celebrating Easter. You're welcome to the program Off the Press. We take a look at the headlines in the newspaper and with the help of the guest, we try to figure out what they mean. My name is Felicity Ezewike. I have joining me social analyst and Yehuvi Ayeni. Pleasure to have you. Good morning, Felicity. <laughs> Good morning. Me. All right, we'll start things off with a punch newspaper. Uh, Nigeria's testing capacity very low. Enemy nurses, others warn. You find details on page two, but before that, there are a couple of writers. Uh, Nigeria test 5,000, Ghana 37. 1,954. South Africa has tested over 80,000. Uh, the paper says 80,085. Let's just start from there before we look at other things. The testing capacity, is that a reflection of the results we are having? Are we, um, some are saying, deluding ourselves, thinking we are all right because we have low figures when we're not testing enough? The t testing figures is not, is not totally a reflection of what we are having. The reason why I say that is because since the um, pandemic has started, the, the labs have been increased. We have more labs now of testing. And the number of people tested each day has increased to 1,700 thereabouts. So if we are testing 1,700 people thereabouts, we are supposed to have more numbers. And I don't think we're deluding ourselves. They are handling the cases as the test positive. And so the positive cases that we see now are those actually on the treatment. Like I said before, if the, if this was if they are testing 1700 people per day, we should have more numbers than we have now. So I I will not uh, I will not blush it up by saying that we are deluding ourselves. Okay. All right, let's uh, see other uh, headlines here. Let's finish with that rider. Without lockdown enforcement, full-blown transmission imminent. FG moves new strategies as cases spread to communities. And then we have this Sunday Easter celebration there. Um, a picture of uh, an empty church. And that's our new reality at the moment. Um, underneath it, you see generator fumes kill man during sex romp with pregnant lover. Um, Ex-commissioner recants as choir hits hard on ventilators claim. Is the tragedy teenagers drown in Lagos Beach? And then we have Akira Dolu accuses police of collecting bribes at Ondo boundaries. One killed as hoodlums police clash in Oshun. Uh, residents turn vigilantes as hoodlums raid Ogun, Lagos community. Um, those are a bit worrying developments. Let's let's hear your thoughts on it before we move on. It it we can see that restlessness as well as opportunity has now come into play. Hoodlums will always will be hoodlums, looking for targets, looking for vulnerable people to attack. And those ones are happening now. So that's why we say that in the midst of all the coronavirus and everything, we still need to be security conscious, doing those things that keep us safe as well our health as well as our own physical security that we are not in harm's way of some of these people who are out to just cause mayhem we spoke to um, um oba from Ogun state earlier today and that's akin today akiemi and he yes. talked about the fact that this space we're seeing in robbery it, it, it has a lot to do with the insufficient uh, palliative that's available for young people who earn their living on a daily basis. Uh, would there be a solution to that now? Because, I mean, the government has been, uh, you know, confronted on many fronts. On that aspect, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll disagree a bit. Because my grandmother always used to say, when my cousins fight, the boys especially, she would always say that, OK, it's because their bellies are full. That's why they are fighting. And that's why they have the strength to fight. And I don't think the hungry youth, all the way to express hunger is by fighting. It's the environment that they find themselves in. They have seen opportunities to attack. They have seen opportunities to do things that they feel they might get away with. Unfortunately, they are not getting away with it. Now, the security security is more is hyped up now because everyone is at home. Remember, and so all this all these sore things that happen stick out, and so the authorities are more alert now to see what actually has been happening. Did it just start because of the COVID nineteen? I don't think so. 
they would have been there before historically. And maybe at those times we were able to get away with it because there was so much up happening. Remember, August State is also the environment of Amotekun that has been in the news for a long time. So these youths have been doing what they have been doing, but this time the focus is on them, that they cannot get away with it and they are being brought to book. All right, let's uh, look at this one on demand for deadly disease insurance to rise. That's C-I-I-N. Uh, you find details on page 25. We also have no opening of schools yet, federal government tells Nigerians. The details of that is on page 10 of the paper. And then we have the 5G controversy. Oyakilo Mary Kant cites health risk. Um, petrol price could further drop by eight naira a litre that's marketers talking there uh, page 20 is where you find details this 5g controversy i need to just speak on it before we move on to another paper um he's recounting now according to the paper uh, well i would say that pastor chris in his own position remember what we call him pastor chris pastor has uh, a duty to inform pastor has a duty to share that which is in his heart now just like his other messages people take what they want and they take what they don't want in terms of 5g my position is every single upgrade in technology has adverse health effects on humanity if you move too close to fire you get burnt that, that is it. So every single upgrade in technology, let 5G, those producing 5G, tell us. But what why didn't he just say that as against going the other mm -hmm. way and making it uh, a topic for conversation and having his colleagues in the ministry coming out to say, no, Pastor, you got it wrong this time. Why didn't he just talk about the health concern from the onset? Well, look at it, Felicity. We're all human. And like Pastor Chris said in one of the times, he's a, he's a tech technology enthusiast and so he's very enthusiastic about technology and that's what he felt about it that was what he said and so in in all in all fairness he came out with the information to say this is the reason this is the reason and i remember one of the things he did say he said remember some of these people who are speaking to you from their point of view they are speaking from what they have been told by those who manufactured 5g not from the fact that they know what the effects of 5G is. All right. Um, federal government says no opening of schools anytime soon. Um, is that a good thing, do you think? I th it's a good thing because, for example, after the 14 days lockdown, now you could have people who are loaded with coronavirus outside. And if after the 14 days lockdown, they say everybody can go to school, you can find, you can, we will find more cases. Because all those who are affected, who don't know that they have coronavirus, will now leave, release that into the atmosphere. And other kids, you know, children being who they are, they will catch it. They'll put their hands in their nose and their mouth and every other thing we're not supposed to. So I think it's still, it's good that we still have the lockdown and still containing that which we have. And so anybody for, with symptoms or anything now can actually go to the hospital and actually raise the alarm that, okay, I have found that this is happening. And if we don't see that that is happening, that is a good thing because then we can move forward to the next level of containment. All right. The Tribune is next this morning. Let's see how many headlines we can catch. Um, how coronavirus exposed failings of Nigeria's healthcare system. Lagos discharges five more patients and CDC confirms five new cases. Details on page two and six of the paper. We also have something on Easter celebrations churches shut as leaders conduct service online three priests 20 others arrested in delta more headlines for you covid 19 jobs must be protected nlc tells federal government how 15 year old boy was kidnapped killed after payment of 5.5 million naira ransom um on rest police arrest 150 suspects wanted gang leader that's uh, Ekubemi killed, buried in Ibadan. More headlines. CBN issues guideline for a hundred billion naira pharmaceutical fund. Uh, details um, on page 25 of the paper. Policeman who extorted 40,000 naira from motorist in Lagos arrested. Money returned to owner. INEX speaks on Edo Ondo Guba elections. FD terrorizing our members with hunger over IPPIS, says ASU. That matter doesn't seem to be going away. Let me just open it for you this time to take on any headline the that catches your attention. Healthcare system. 
healthcare like education is one of the largest employer of labor anywhere in the world. If the government can take a hold of healthcare at this time of this coronavirus, take a hold of healthcare and improve the policies that govern healthcare, allow primary healthcare, allow other uh, other areas of the healthcare system to also thrive at this time. They are they are high employers of labor. We will not have so few um, nurses in our system. We will not have so few doctors in our system to deal with this if the government had better policies on healthcare. Healthcare is a, an environment where the youth, the adults, and even the elderly have jobs. At the age of 85, a doctor who is agile and is still interested in his medicine can still consult. At the age of 60, a nurse can still go out and still and still work and not say that, oh, they are dependent on their family. No, we're already seeing that they are being pulled back to the system to help with this so pandemic. So it would be a good yeah. thing if the government can then look at the policies that we have that are governing healthcare. Let's have a robust healthcare system. It will take hundreds and millions of people into jobs all over the country, 36 countries of the of, um, 36 six states of our country. So healthcare is one aspect that I feel the government should look more into. All right. Uh, would you want to take on another issue or should we just move on? Let's look at this one on Syrup Rights FG to share 37 billion naira NAS renovation fund to states for the fight against COVID-19. So that story yesterday and I was like... What I will say is when we see, when we now, when we hear more people say they have seen the money then we can say, okay, this is what is happening. There have been so there have been so many things have been said about the fact that oh, you should pay this. Even the the even the Senate is talking about government paying this. Got talking about this one paying that. People talk money and a lot of money. Let us see the results of the money, and then we believe what is being said. All right, let's see what the Nation newspaper has for us this morning. A patient's Jonathan's hotel to become isolation center. 20 bed facility to be handed over today. Ex First Lady strikes deal with Aisha Buhari. And then there is a, a breakdown of the figures, both globally and nationally, of the um, effect of the global pandemic. Over a million, 1.8 million uh, people infected around the globe. All right, let's see another one. Uh, Nigerians celebrate it indoors, churches locked. Quara used 263 million naira recovered loot to buy ventilators. Others at Deboye don't relax in antivirus battle. Pope seeks debt relief. That's another one for you at the top of the paper on your screen now. Um, if you go underneath, uh, you'll see foreign reserve dip by $34.55 billion. Lagos discharges five uh, patients. That's another one. Ogu Mo's debt uh, penalty as police arrest 150 suspects. Jam warns parents. Nigerians celebrating does persons Jonathan Hotel to become isolation center. Take your peek. Yes. Which do you want to talk yeah, about? Yeah, that's a good one. The isolation center. So some good news will come out of it now. Pastor Deboye has said that they should, they should not government should not relax on the antivirus. And just before then, we had looked at the paper where the government was going to give a hundred billion to pharmacies. Uh, the, well, the fact of that is this: because science is not immediate. Science is not immediate. So even if they give all that money to the pharmacies, it's still going to take a, a couple while. of a while before we can see any results at all. And remembering that some of these scientific, um, some of these science specialists on the levels of containing this virus, some of them really have shaky foundations that they need to rebuild before they can actually bring out any results in terms of that that will make all of us happy. Uh, this, uh, this celebrating is the indoors. I mean, how does it play out? This is the first in history, really. How do you think people are coping? I, I, I think it will be hard because we're used to visiting one another, making eating noise. Eating plenty saying, of rice Eating and plenty drinking. of rice, but <laughs> the, the eating the plenty of rice and drinking still can still happen in our homes. I know, it's be, I know it's been challenging, but it's also a time of reflection because it's also a time of reflection of what Easter really means to us, what that relationship that really births Easter really means to us. And 
if there's this is a good time more than any other there are no there are no delays there is no running up and down the whole place the time of reflection and i know because of this pandemic that has happened is not so much only the celebration of easter but the effect is had on families on businesses and everything is a time of sober reflection for everybody and to actually Pray more, study more, read more, everything more. I hope we use it in, yes. that, way. Yes, in that way. All right, let's take a look at Business Day. Um, money talk here. Nigeria's balance of payment deficit to hit seven-year high of $9 billion in 2020. Uh, there you have a picture of the president at the State House of Buja with uh, Babat Ghana Zulum. There's the governor of Benue State. Okay. Bornu State, I beg your pardon. All right. We have uh, other stories here. Inside of the paper, we'll see something on hospitality records. Worst Easter sales in history amid coronavirus. Poor income levels threaten Nigeria's stock of nursing workforce. And then a SEC, FMDQ, depository revolutionize depository services in Nigeria. Um, is there something you want to talk about here quickly? So wrap money, things up. Money. It, it's, um, I know that ec economists and accountants, we have different figures, graphs and everything, and they'll explain all these monies. But the truth is, when we see this, now it makes more sense to us that, look, actually, we have a money problem in this country. We do have a money problem. And if we thought that if everything was going on OK, this will not be glaring to everybody that this is actually the money problem. So actually, it's a time as much as we have, like, a, like I, we always say, I think we have a spending therapy. Our, our therapy in Nigeria is actually spending. The more we spend, the happier we are. So it's a time to really reflect on, do I really need to spend all that money to buy all that I was always buying? When we look at ourselves, we realize that there are so many things that we have bought. I've, I had this before, and now I bought another one, and I haven't used that one. This is a time to sober reflect on everything, including our spending habits. Our spending habits really need to balance now, and spending habits really need to be on more of a saving habit than actually spending, because we like to spend. <laughs> We like to spend. I know I'd like to spend. You see? Don't you? You see? I, I well, let's be honest. But I control it. <laughs> yeah, managing it and yes, controlling it is very good. Yes. Thank you so much for coming on Thank the program. You. Thank you. Thank you, Spencer, too. All right, that's a wrap for this morning. You can catch up on our YouTube page if you missed this. That's at Plus TV Africa for all the latest headlines. Stay tuned to Plus TV Africa. My name is Felicity Ezewike.